Okay, Amrish Balika from Medial Vice is also with us. Uh, uh, Amrish, uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. You, you, you've been positive on the stock, but uh, uh, post the AGM, uh, for, you know, is, is there anything uh, that excites you or uh, was this just a routine uh, uh, kind of statement? No, I think it was more or less routine except for the fact that the launch of Reliance Geo is slightly getting extended uh, more than what uh, we thought it would. But uh, whatever said and done, I think uh, they are clearly getting into their growth phase with uh, their various projects also coming online and especially with uh, the sort of uh, like uh, margin expansion uh, which is being talked about. I think overall uh, it's still clearly on the growth path and uh, our bullishness would still uh, remain. And uh, like, I, like I've been saying earlier, our immediate target was about 1175-1200. I think that should be achievable quite soon. And uh, once you have the gas pricing in place, I think uh, you should see much higher levels. Okay. Ambrish, uh, what did you think of the CapEx guidance? We just had Dipan telling us that uh, maybe that would be a little worrying considering that it would be higher at around uh, possibly $30 billion as opposed to the 20 to $22 billion that was forecasted earlier. No, I don't think uh, that should be too much of a worry because uh, even going ahead, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, raising funds uh, in, a, in a bullish market which we are talking of over the next couple of years, I don't think that will be too much of a issue for a uh, brand like Reliance. Okay, Amrish, thanks a lot uh, for that quick take. Uh, uh, Piyush, uh, just a word on uh, oil and gas. Uh,